Hi everybody, I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet in London, Ontario, Canada. You're watching Cars and Crosby. And I am one happy camper because I could finally say that my Corvette is done. I, it took me three years of designing and poor me for having to wait that long to get it done. It was fun, half the fun is a hunt. I always say that and I could tell you this has been quite an adventure that I've been on with my Corvette. The ACS rocker panels are in. I have five that are already arriving so if you guys are on my list and I've told you that I have some coming in. Congratulations, we're gonna get Phil and Todd to install them very shortly. This episode is gonna be geared towards those. I have done the installation on mine and I'm gonna show you that process in today's episode. I'm just gonna, I'm just excited about it. I just wanna show you my Corvette. And there's also a little sneak peek at what we're gonna have in a future episode on the back end of my vet. So without further ado, let me introduce you to VIN number 141 off the line. And as we find out in a future episode, chassis number 69, the 69th chassis made on January 20th, 2020, this puppy was born, or at least the body of her was. Now, I've got a set of Vossens on here. There are 20s in the front and 21s in the back. And this is ceramic matrix gray. I like gray because it's a shade. It's not really gray to a certain extent, but as we were just talking about with hypersonic gray, it's got enough metal flake for it to change its character just based on what panel it's looking at and what the conditions are. And today we have a nice sunny day on our hands and uh, well, she's shining. I've got a wrap in galaxy black from 3M on the top end of my Corvette to kind of replicate what the, the nacelles and painted top on a hard top convertible look like. This is a Z51 and I've taken off the original Z51 and I put a 5VM front splitter from ACS Composites. I've got these grill guards in here and then I've also now got these rocker panels. So these are the 1VM rocker panels that are in carbon flash metallic. All the accents on a Corvette from the factory stock are going to be in carbon flash metallic and these here are perfectly matching that. Now I did this because in the video you'll see why you want to do this. In this specific area here, there's a couple battle scars that I have. And if you are going to be doing this properly, this is something that I would suggest doing right from the dealership when you pick up your Corvette. ACS Composites is from Canada. I always want to support a Canadian company. They used to be a tier one supplier. They actually were uh, involved with the body components for when they were making the C C4 Camaro up in Quebec. And, um, They've also worked with other manufacturers like Callaway and Lingenfelter, I believe Lingenfelter, in making some of their body kits for the Corvette. So they're very well versed in terms of being able to use composite technology to find something that makes your Corvette aesthetically pleasing, but also functional. I'm a functional kind of person and I wanna put things on my Corvette that make sense. I'm not doing this just to make it look good. As, as it's, a, it's, a, it's a great thing to have, but I want to make sure that there's things on here that do it. And rocker panels in particular are really good at keeping dirt from getting up on the side and also protecting the side. Now, the other thing that we installed are these rock guards here. They're just going to give me a little bit of added protection in terms of making it so that these wheels, which can be prominent, I have them flared out just to show off right now. But if you see in the back here with these 21s or even the stock ones, they do stick out a bit and we want to keep in this case, the people behind me in this little area right here from getting dirty, but in more importantly in the front from having things get shot up and damaging the side of your vehicle. Regardless of what color it is, you're going to see stuff get up on there. If you have a darker color, you're really going to thank those types of systems. Now, because I have the upgraded set of rims on mine with the 20 in the front and the 20 ones in the back, Todd did have to shave down the inside of here, and we will show you that in the video. So if you're watching this and you're skipping through it, disclaimer, you need to make sure that you shave down any splash guard or rock guard that's on your Corvette if you upgrade the wheels so that the turn radius is the same exact amount and you're not rubbing it on the frame. So this is a all ACS Composites episode. I hope you guys enjoy this. Stay tuned for more awesome content. I'm Morgan Crosby and happy motoring. Hi everybody, I'm Morgan Crosby from Finn Chevrolet and you're watching Cars and Crosby. I'm in our boardroom with all of our inspirational sales speeches. We haven't been in here very often, but uh, the last time we were in here was because we were unboxing some stuff from ACS and I thought it was only fitting especially with it being month end and there's a lot of craziness going on that I found this secluded little corner to be able to unbox to you guys something that came in unfortunately while I was down in Carlisle we were hoping to have it here before but 
Shipping in general right now has just been an absolute nightmare with everything. So if you're looking at Boston rims or uh, some other accessories, I hate to say it guys, but it's it's been a nightmare to try to get stuff. Um, I took the liberty just because of um, having some experience with unboxing some stuff on camera to, to pre-open this up, but I haven't actually seen anything other than that. So without further ado guys, here we go. All right. So these are the rocker panels for my C8. And um, we got them in the carbon flash metallic just because again, nothing on my Corvette is in the uh, exposed carbon fiber. You can go with that look, but I've, I've said it a couple of times on the channel and uh, you'll see it on um, a lot of the, uh, the posts and content that I was doing down at Carlisle is you gotta, you gotta continue with that idea if you're wanting to put carbon fibre on the vehicle. So again, nice packaging in here. It, it does ship up very nicely. And uh, here we go. There it is. So this is, I couldn't tell you right now off the top of my head if this is left or right. I would assume that this is the left one. I'm gonna cover, make sure we don't damage this up before we put it on the car. Oh boy. So Joseph has a um, paint facility that he is able to put carbon flash metallic on it. And the main reason why I was so patient was because I was wanting to go with somebody that didn't have to drill into the side of the Corvette in order to get the, uh, the same look as the 5VM look. Now this is the 1VM package. I don't really like that little rear lip in the back. I like more of a discreet, sleek, look that'll finish the accent on my vehicle now this composite right off the bat just from touching and feeling the 5 vms is a lot more robust and i'm not really concerned about you know the weight of my corvette and and my lap times around nuremberg and stuff like that so for me to have a more robust system especially when i'm driving mine i just crested uh the 20,000 kilometer mark so i just hit about 12 and a half thousand miles on my corvette and um, you know, I drive it. I wanted to make sure that I have all the things on it to make sure that I can do everything possible. And you know, I was just saying to some people who were here at the dealership and they were asking me about how Corvettes and Carlisle was. No offense to Carlisle and all the people that I saw there, but you know, half the fun was just driving and going on these amazing roads. And, and that's really the biggest reason why um, I love Corvettes so much is they're just built for the road. And, and to have more accessories and tools to make that a more reliable, aesthetically pleasing trip. Um, I'm, I'm happy about it. You know, I was in um, Northern Pennsylvania at Geo's Barbecue, getting some ribs and you know, there's people around me as I'm eating ribs on my car. Another benefit of, of a mid-engine Corvette is you have a beautiful, uh, warm, small block in the back that's gonna keep your food warm while you're eating on it. It's a great picnic table, it's heated. So, you know, you don't have to worry about it. And then I didn't eat all my ribs, so I put them in the back and they were perfectly warm for me to eat the rest of the ribs for when I got into Canada. So five hours at the back of your Corvette, you know, if anything makes them just a little bit more uh, better and fall off the bone, the ribs. But it was really fun being in a small town, seeing everybody kind of drop their guard and, you know, not judge me and label me as a city slicker, but see that I had a really cool car and they came up to me and talked to me and a couple of them were showing their, their, their street cred by doing burnouts and stuff like that in front of me. And it was really fun. Where I'm going with this is that um, this is another tool or an accessory for me to be able to have that much more of a fun experience with my Corvette. And I'm really excited for Todd to be able to put these on as well as the rock guards that we had from ACS. I told you guys I was waiting until I had these puppies in so that I could kill two birds with one stone in terms of the installations. And then we'll get a little bit more of a detailed look at the underside of my exhaust system that I have from AWE. So I hope you guys enjoy this. We're gonna go right into the montage on the installation. All right, today's the day, ACS Composite Day. We are got a lot of stuff that we're gonna be putting on this bad boy. Fresh off a trip from the United States. Gonna look at the underside. First look that we can see at my little um, blunder that I've had for my, my Z51 vent. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's what that one looks like. As you can see, that's why you take them off, guys. You're not supposed to drive on the regu regular roads with them on. Now these are the rock guards that we're gonna be putting on. Very easy to clip in. The insulation's not too hard at all. On the full length rocker panels, these are the 
um, 5v1 series. We've got a really cool adhesive that we're gonna be putting on here. Little tip that Todd has already noted to me is we wanna make sure that we get some alcohol wipes and we clean off the working surface because I got a dirty girl right now. She's, she's not gonna be in the cleanest mo uh, state right now. And with all these adhesives, you really wanna make sure that you have a clean working surface that you can work off of. Now, this is exactly why I'm putting this kind of stuff on. Now, I have on here a Stone Guard PBF, but you can see I've gone right through the paint on some of these areas. And this, if I had it a lot sooner, and that's no, no hit on anyone. I was a, you know, a torchbearer, a front runner with getting one of the first vehicles. So that's an occupational hazard of getting a Corvette before a lot of other people and not having the components on yet. But this is case in point right there, why you want to get these types of systems because not only will it look good aesthetically, but it's gonna really do a great job at stopping these rocks from mecking up my paint job. So Todd has just finished installing the bracket. And now keep in mind, guys, this bracket's here because we don't want to have to make that sacrifice and have that intrusive nickel-sized hole drilled into the side of your Corvette. They're using this to reinforce the side components as well as we're going to be placing rivets on the underside of the vet. This is a lot less intrusive, and in my opinion, it's going to make it so that if you wanted to change the design of your Corvette in the future, you're not going to be pigeonholed into finding something that fills that hole in that you drilled into the side of your vet. So if you're gonna put Vossens in a larger format than the OEM spec where it's a 20 inch in the front instead of the 19, you need to make sure that you take care of this specific area on your splash guard because it will rub. And we've taken an angle grinder kind of like what we use when we're doing our brake services and just reduce that surface area so that it stops the rubbing. And if you're gonna be putting on the ACS composite ones, I would suggest doing the exact same thing and kind of mimicking where you saw us do it on the original one. So this is where Phil took it and ground it down. You can still see where there's some areas where it did rub off for a bit, but I haven't had it rubbing for a very long time. It was only the very beginning for a couple hundred kilometers. Hope you guys enjoyed that installation segment. I'm still in the boardroom, as you can see, I'm still holding them. And I just wanted to note a couple of differences between the OEM and these. Um, the under tray, which is something that ACS Composites is actually very well known for, is a lot more extensive on this than the original one. And it is a thicker, uh, more robust material that you're using. 
Um, to me, at the end of the day, protection on your Corvette is key. And also the side effects of having to drill into the side um, are easily made up by having a larger under tray. So this area here, this, this surface area, or this part that's going on the underside of your Corvette is larger than the uh, OEM one. And I can understand why it is because they're using that area to reinforce and to um, adhere to the, the Corvette over um, drilling into the side. Now there is also a lot of mounting uh, adhesives, which you'll, you'll see uh, when Todd is putting them on. And then there's also a package that came in here with some more uh, two, two, two way tape um, just to make sure that that fit is is nice and snug, but it's also not rubbing up against the body in any in any harmful way. So these are the things that come with your ACS installation. Now, while I was down uh, at Carlisle, I was very fortunate to run into Mike Furman. And if you guys don't know who he is, he's the most um, accredited Corvette salesperson uh, that I've ever met. He just hit 5,000 Corvettes sold, and those are new and used models. I think combined. And uh, we've, we've been corresponding over the, the last two years that I've been um, doing this publicly. I've been you know, a Corvette salesman for earlier than that, but I was just a little minnow in the pond and I didn't really wanna go into the big C yet. Um, and I was very fortunate to run into him and he handed me this and I don't have any idea other than he said that it was a collector's um, edition uh, poster that I should be putting up somewhere because it's very special. And on the back of it here, it does say 147 of 350. So I'm just gonna, there's a package that just fell out of it and a piece of paper. Let's see what else is in here. Hopefully I can wrap this up. There's a certificate of authenticity. Wow, this is gonna be something else. All right, that's everything out of here. All right, let's see what Mike Furman has handed off to me. Oh, wow. So cool, wow, look at that. So in December 1955, Chevrolet chief engineer, Ed Cole announced his, his desires to have two of the Corvette cars in Sebring unaccompanied, <laughs> I'm not that good at reading upside down. So this looks like it is um, some Corvettes that were racing at Sebring and it's got a lot of beautiful, vibrant colors. And this is definitely something that um, I, I appreciate in artwork. I'm just started taking it in. I'm seeing this live as you guys are on camera. Um, and it says original fiberglass. And these are real sick. Wow, these are, these, are, these are actual signatures that are on here. I can see the indentations in the paper. Wow, Mike, thank you very much. So that would probably explain what this little package is here. Oh my gosh, this is a piece of the race car. No way. So you put that on there. Oh, I'm gonna have to get this framed. This is something else. Mike, thank you very much. You are a class act. And uh, you know, he was, Mike was at the um, Spring Mountain Raceway, the Ron Fellows tent for the, uh, the time that he was um, down at Carlisle. And I was only with him for maybe half an hour to an hour. And the amount of people that, that approached him that had amazing stories. I, I was able to hold a Stanley Cup ring from a gentleman that worked for the Washington Capitals. You know, I was dealing with individuals that um, shared an unbelievable story. If you're watching this, thank you for the advice on the, um, on the uh, garage uh, ornaments for my man cave. This individual told me about a story about how when he was 15 years old and worked at a dealership, he had the fortunate opportunity to let his, uh, or his boss let him take a 63 split window for a spin around the block. And he's obviously done well in life because he began to start collecting Corvettes and he started to hunt down the original 63 split window that he drove. It was a black 63 and he ended up finding it in Yuma, Arizona. And so he is hoping that he can make a connection with it, but that's the kind of stuff that at Carlisle, um, you don't get in many places, you know, these types of stories and these types of individuals that reach out to me and, and give me advice on what I should put in my garage and then share with me a story about their Corvette experiences over the years. This is what it's all about, folks. And I appreciate everybody that came up to me and talked to me. And Mike, uh, this is an amazing piece of art that I will definitely be putting up in my man cave, in my garage, 
Um, so thank you very much. If you guys haven't reached out to an American salesperson that has a very healthy allotment, uh, Mike is at Chriswell and he will help you out in getting um, your Corvette. He's in Maryland, but I believe that they have a couple of other locations on the East Coast as well. And uh, every single time that I've, I've met an individual that's in sales, you can usually tell right away how the salesperson performs you know, in terms of salesmanship. And to see the amount of people that just walked up to him and, and the, the amount of uh, memory that he retained about his customers and how happy they were to see him, that really at the end of the day, in my opinion, is a sign of a really great salesperson. And Mike, I, I really appreciate the advice and the opportunities and the, the experience and the, the beautiful pieces of history that you've given me over the years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this delivery, or sorry, not delivery, this unwrapping episode and installation episode of the ACS, not to take away from these beautiful rocker panels, they will be in stock. I will have them in here for the end of September. If you are on my list, I will contact you to let you know uh, in regards to the, the ETA on the time frame. There's a lot of people that are waiting to get both the splitter and the rocker panels done at the same time. There is a 5VM version, which has the more accentuated rear lip in the back. Um, I wanted to go with more of a cleaner profile that in my opinion just completes the look a little bit more for my, for my style. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more awesome content. I'm Morgan Crosby and happy motoring.